All right, today's the day we're gonna do some ribs. Sorry, I have uh, my microphone right there, so it makes my hood hang over a little bit. So hopefully we're not getting too much feedback. But today's the day we're gonna do a uh, rack of ribs on the uh, master built MEG 40, I think is what it was, 40 MEG. Um, and uh, it's a little uh, rainy today. It's like 36 degrees. They don't predict snow, uh, but there'll be rain off and on. Um, so I kind of got it under the cover of the uh, food trailer there um, to kind of keep it from getting too much rain on it. But I wanted to go over a couple of things uh, since the burn in on it. So let me uh, set you up and show you a couple things before we find Regulators! Out. Mount up. Okay, first thing I want to show you is uh, I did find one of those what's called like a three-quarter pan. Uh, this is Kingsford brand, um, and it fits in the rack just fine. Uh, but I'm not going to use it today. Uh, I put water down here in the water pan. Uh, but what I'm going to use for this cook are these. I picked these up, I think, at the dollar store. Uh, two pack of them. I'm just going to put one of these down here in the grease trap, catch any grease dripping from the uh, rack of ribs. Um, but what I wanted to show you that burn in, I came out, uh, it was a three and a half hour uh, burn in process that I did. I don't know if you can see it, but the lights on here, it's a little switch. Very cool. Um, did three and a half hour burn in on it and every half hour I came out and it says to add a half a cup of wood chips in the uh, chip dump um, and I did that. I just used the uh, kickery ones uh, but uh, I want to show you how much ash was produced in the end. There you go. That's all the ash that was uh, produced in the burn-in. Uh, so not very much ash at all. Yeah, I'm just going to dump that out. And there you go. So Put that back in there. Catch any other ash. Alright. Like that. We're going to go ahead and close it up. Here. I'm going to be using uh, the hickory and then also cherry. I'm going to rotate between the two uh, through this cook. Uh, we're going to probably start out at 220, let it go for a couple hours, come out every half hour, and add more chips. Uh, I'm going to run the vent quarter open, uh, but I'll rotate between the two style flavors of chips, the cherry and the hickory, every half hour. Um, so let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, let's power it on. I said that display is so dark. Uh, we're going to set the temp. Come on. There it goes. So we're going to set it at 225, uh, and then we're going to set the timer. We're going to give it the max time of 23, or I guess maybe it was 24 hours. We're just going to let that run. No minutes. Okay. So we'll let this thing come up to temp, and then uh, we'll get our rack of ribs. They say it takes about uh, 45 minutes to get it up to temp. I am going to put some wood chips in it just so it's starting to smolder a little bit. We're going to go with hickory for the first dump. Hickory chips here. So you can see the chip. And we just put in, they say a half a cup. They don't want you to overfill it. So we'll just get a nice little handful there. I keep dropping them on the ground. Yeah. All right, let's get it in there and get it dumped. All right, we'll let it 
roll for a while and we'll check back on it. All right, so it says our grill is at 201. I'm gonna go ahead and put another load of chips in it and then we'll get the ribs on it here in just a minute. So, like I said, I'm gonna rotate. So, I'm gonna use the cherry chips. So, let's take our pot out. Cherry chips in here. I probably put more in than what they recommend, but hey. All right. Put it in there. Rotate it. We get the rack of ribs. All right. Here's the rack of ribs. Um, I seasoned them with uh, Malcolm Ray's uh, How to Barbecue Right, uh, all purpose rub, and then uh, with my special seasoning. I guess set them on this rack right here. Okay, of uh, salt, pepper, and uh, Johnny's all purpose. And close that up. Got it in my hand. All right, we'll just let it run for a few minutes here. Okay, so I got my other phone here. Uh, timer. We don't want that. We want this. And uh, we'll go to timer. 30 minutes start. So we'll check it in a half hour and uh, add more chips if needed. Uh, you can see smoke starting to come out there. Let's see see that trying to see smoke is coming out it's smelling pretty good all right come back in a half hour okay it's been the first half hour uh, let's see what we're running let's see it says that it's at uh, 2 30. And, uh, let's just open it up take a quick look Always Look at that. Mm. All right. Still have some smoke flowing out, but we're going to go ahead and refill it. You know, change of plan. I'm just going to use cherry. I'm not going to bounce between the two. Set that up here. Lost all our smoke when I opened the door. Okay. This is a little warm. Don't want to leave your hand on it too much because it will burn. Okay. All right. So we'll let it go for another half hour. Get our phone set. All right, we're one hour in. Uh, let's take a look. See if we can see what that says. 217. You can see the smoke rolling out of it. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Take another quick look at them. Oh, look at that. Getting a little drip. But those are looking so good. Mm, let's get it closed up. All right. Add more chips. See if we can see. Get it at the right angle. You can see a little redness of the uh, chips going. Getting a good smell to it. Rotate. Dump some into every little glass pan. Yeah, so we'll let it go for another half hour now. And it's looking good. Let's see where we're at temperature wise since I opened that door. Yeah, it's 211. But she so come right back up. Everything's looking really good. It smells incredible out here. It is raining pretty good right now. You can see uh, 
Got water on the smoker here. Cover's not really covering it very well. Can't move it much farther back. Um, so, but the controller's under there. Uh, and it's been, you know, right there around 220. Pretty good. So, yeah, going well. Let's check it in another half hour. All right, so we've been a little over two hours now. And uh, I think it's time that we probe it, see where we're sitting. So, let's go ahead and open it up. Ah, up here. I think it says 236. So, open this up. Oh, those are beautiful. And let's just see here. Put it here. So we're at 152, 153 internal. So I think it's actually time to wrap these. They're looking so good. Yeah. Trying to get a little bit of bone pulled back. But, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to let them go one more half hour before I wrap them. Uh, just to see what happens. Better to put, put some more uh, chips in it. And uh, we'll go from there. So that's the beauty of it, that when you're smoking and playing around with different grills and stuff, there's no set rules. It's just a gut feeling. That's why I'm going to let it go a half hour more. Uh, I'd like to see a little more bone pull back uh, before I call it. Yeah, so I'd like to see a little more bone exposed uh, before I wrap them. So we'll let them go one more half hour. I'm out here in my shop as it's raining and uh, it's time to pull those ribs off. Uh, and then wrap them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and get them, bring them in here, wrap them up, and then we'll take them back out there and uh, put them on the smoker. But what I'm going to do that's a little different is I'm going to go ahead and refill the uh, chip bin one more time. Uh, then I'm going to crank the heat up to, let's say, uh, 275. And then I won't put any more chips in there because now once they're wrapped, they're not going to absorb the smoke anymore. They're just going to absorb the heat and release the moisture uh, to keep them nice and uh, moist, if you want to say. So uh, I am going to just do the chips one more time uh, and pull them off and wrap them. Uh, and then after that, we're going to let them go for uh, probably an hour. Uh, and then we're going to pull them, let them rest uh, probably for a half hour. Uh, and then we'll cut into them and uh, see what they look like. So I'm gonna go get them and we'll get them wrapped up. All right, here's our ribs. Uh, let's just get in here and take a good look at those. Get that seasoning packet. Nice uh, mahogany, mahogany brown color to them. Um, so I'm gonna get them wrapped up and then I'm going to get them back out there and let them finish cooking. Like I said, there's just very little bone pullback right now. Um, here, this, there. And you can see very little bone pullback. So we're going to wrap them. See the back side? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap them twice here. Get a bigger piece of foil. There we go. I like to wrap my ribs twice. Uh, like so. so. And we'll get this back out there on that uh, master built smoker we'll let them go for about an hour all right like i said uh Picked it up to 275, and uh, we're gonna just let it go uh, at that, and we'll just see what they look like. 
Now, you notice I didn't put any uh, fluid like uh, butter or uh, apple cider vinegar or anything like that in there with the ribs. Um, don't generally do that anymore. Uh, they seem to produce enough uh, liquid on their own the way I do it. And uh, we'll just see what this happens. This says it's at 285. Like I said, it's hard to see that. See, well, there we go. Um, and uh, it's been a, about an hour. Let's just have a quick little test here. See where we're at. Well, pretty good bend to them. So now I'm going to take them out of here and I'm just going to let them rest for probably a half hour. I'm going to open them up and then let them rest. So we'll look at them in the uh, shop here in just a minute. All right. So here's our rack of ribs. Like I said, I'm just going to unwrap them and we'll take a quick look at them. Now, do you remember what this video was called? You can see how the juices from it have gotten into the second layer. The video was called, Can You Get Quality Ribs Off an Electric Smoker? Like you could get off a true offset smoker. So this is the bottom side. You can now see the bone pull back. Let's go ahead and put the juices on it. Mm. Flip it over. Oh yeah. That bone fell out. It was an end bone. But look at that color. That is beautiful. And you can just see the juices all on it uh, by wrapping it like that. So what we're going to do, we're just going to fold these in like so. Mm. Smells incredible. Just like that. Mm. Look at that. See the bone pulled back there? Beautiful. All right, so we're just gonna let them sit like this for about a half hour, and then we'll cut into them and see what we got. Okay, so what I've done now is I've opened the vent as much as I can on the top, and I dropped this down to 200. Uh, right now, it's at 235, about 15 minutes, it should be down to 200, and then I'm gonna shut it off. Uh, I'm not going to leave it on out here for much longer, but I wanted it to cool down a little bit before uh, I power it off. So, yeah, we'll be out So our minutes. ribs have been resting for a little over a half hour here. Let's just have a look at them. Look at that bone pulled back. Mm, isn't that beautiful? The color on them. All right. They do smell smoky, which is awesome. Let's take the knife here and see what we can do. Come in here and take this one. Out. Dun, dun, dun. So, if you notice, I didn't set up the Wi Fi on that uh, master built yet. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that might actually uh, go on location somewhere, so I didn't want to have it tied down to my phone. Um, but uh, eventually I'll play around with that Wi-Fi, and uh, we'll see uh, how well that works. But, all right, there you go. Look at that. Hmm. So, as you can see, not much of a smoke ring on them. Um, I heard that's pretty common uh, for these type of electric smokers. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a bite of one of these and see what she tastes like. Looks beautiful. Take a bite. Mmm. Wow. Good clean bite there. No seasoning. Oh yeah. Mm. Getting a hint of smoke in it, which is great. That seasoning. I can taste the pepper. I can taste a little bit of sugar. And this is no sauce, man. Mm. 
Wow. That is a good rig right there. So to me, that is the way you want your ribs to come out. Mm. So right off the bat, what you notice with these ribs is they have a nice dark color to them. That may have been a combination of me doing the different seasoning on it and smoking them on that electric smoker. That's more uh, what an offset wood smoker uh, come out like. I mean, it, it's not burnt whatsoever. Uh, it's just dark. On a pellet grill, you don't quite get that. Um, you will get a nice smoke ring on a pellet grill. You don't get one uh, smoke ring on these. Some people say you can put nitrate in your uh, rub and that'll penetrate and give you that pink if you if you want to go that route. But I would say that that electric smoker did a pretty darn good job. Um, these look beautiful. I don't know if you can see how moist they are. Uh, look at that, it's just dripping off. Uh, that is amazing. Um, so easy to use. I like it now uh, for the ribs. So you saw how I did that. I put it on at 225 and smoked these for two and a half hours, uh, adding cherry chips every half hour. After that two and a half hours, I took it off. I double wrapped them uh, in foil and I didn't put any water, no apple cider vinegar, no butter, no sugar, nothing. I just wrapped them up kicked up that smoker as high as it'll go, which is 275, put this rack back in there, let it go for another hour, took them off, unwrapped them, stuck them in my uh, little uh, warmer box, no heat to it, just somewhere where they could just sit, left them in there for another half hour, just brought them out here to the cutting board, sliced them up, and they, you know, cut up beautifully, uh, and, uh, Man, so much flavor. Uh, I think I really like that seasoning. Um, so this is the seasoning I used. This is my combination of uh, basically a quarter cup of Johnny's uh, seasoning, a quarter cup of uh, kosher salt, and then uh, to one cup of uh, black pepper. Um, then... Uh, I also hit it with, uh, this is Weber's uh, KC Barbecue. I first hit it with this, and then I came back over the top with this. And uh, yeah, this has a little bit of sugar in it, so I wanted that to kind of offset the uh, pepper and the uh, salt and the Johnny's. And boy, those are awesome. I'm gonna do that combination on a rack in the uh, pellet grills see how those come out there overall cook went smooth 36 degrees raining i had it under a little bit of a cover uh but uh yeah that thing ran flaw flawlessly uh for that whole cook um i'll show you uh how many ash is left in it and how much water is in it once i bring it in here uh for the evening but i can't complain about these ribs i'd sell those ribs yeah and uh, that being the 140, uh, I do believe, now these are St. Louis style ribs. And I did trim them up a little bit on each end. Uh, there's four racks in that master built. And you can get two racks per, uh, or two racks of ribs per shelf. So I do believe you could get eight racks in there uh, if you needed to. So, uh, yeah, and I'll prove that out sometime. But I'm impressed with that smoker. It did a really, really nice job on these ribs. Um, you know, they're just like an offset smoker where you have to add the, the uh, split of wood or the wood chips uh, every half hour just to maintain that heat, to maintain that smoke. Uh, and then I think I might try pellets in it. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. 
We'll see what pellets do. But these are good ribs. And like always said, you can do this too. It's not that hard, my friends. Grill on until next time. I got some ribs. To Much wood chip left in here. Let's see, there's how much grease came out. With a little bit of water left, not much. So look at that. That's all the ash that's left. So it's, I'd have to say it's pretty efficient uh, for uh, burning that much uh, chip and for generating that much smoke. But you can see how dirty it is after one cook. It's gonna need a little bit of cleaning. Yeah, but uh, that's pretty impressive. I like it. Master built. 140 MEG is what this model is. 